This is our second year of the Chef Invitational. Uh, we went out to all of our food service partners once again this year, asked them to bring us their very best chefs and their very best recipes. For us, it's all about the partnership, working with their chefs, uh, getting the brand recognition for Cal Giant on the chef level where chefs are now requesting our berries year round and requesting that they be in their kitchen is very valuable to us. When we have Cal Giant at the peak of their season, nothing beats the freshness and the taste and the sweetness of their berries. You gotta know where your food comes from because I represent every single plate that goes out here and we wanna be at the top of our game as a chef. The best thing that I can tell you about having the chefs in the field is when they say this is the best strawberry I've ever eaten. A lot of them have been using these products their whole life or their whole culinary life yet they've never been into a field to see where it was grown. They don't understand the process. So getting them there, connecting them with the grower, letting them understand how difficult it is to bring these products to market and just how uh, truly delicate it is. Uh, I think it, it really brings an appreciation and a value to them. When you actually go out there and see the labor and the love that these farmers put into all of their product, it's just, it's mind boggling and it makes you think as a chef, you know, like I said, respect that ingredient a hundred times more. I always try to push that with my customers as you know, I am cooking for you, but I want you to understand what does go into that. So that way you take it home and love it just like I have. It's always interesting coming to a new area. Some of these guys are from out of state, uh, traveling on a plane with their chef knives and some of their magical ingredients. Um, they're working in an unusual kitchen that they've never been in before, a limited amount of time. Uh, so there's a lot of pressure. It's not easy. Uh, I think it's fun. It's exciting. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying their dishes and seeing what they come up with. And the level of creativity is pretty high. Competition's fierce and uh, it's going to be fun. Each recipe had to use at least two of the four berries that we grow. And along with that, they had to create amazing dishes using those berries, uh, not just as a garnish, rather part of the dish, totally cohesive, and it had to taste really, really good. I'm calling the recipe I made today a mochi donut, a mochi street style Korean mochi donut. It's filled with raspberry jam, and it's topped with a real beautiful roasted blueberry glaze. We roast the blueberries slowly in the oven. They get real jammy and, and, and sugary and caramely. Five ingredients, super light, airy, and gluten-free. <laughs> This year we have the Team Kitchen Project. They're backing up the chefs and getting a really incredible experience. We like to be involved in the community. We like to support efforts that to us are, are worthy causes. So Team Kitchen Project is a nonprofit organization for feeding people who are unable to feed themselves healthy meals. And I'm hoping to gain more experience and how to cook different dishes. Those kids are having a great time. A kitchen they've never been in, chefs they've never worked with but they know all the processes, they know the techniques. 10 minutes into it, you could see them all loosen up and really just get this glow about them and they had a great time. Uh, I think it's really good to have them. Our dish was a blueberry sweet tea braised quail. Uh, we made a raspberry and dill barbecue sauce. We did blueberry and blackberry hot sauce, tossed Brussels with pecans. Uh, we made a green uh, cilantro strawberry oil, a red chili strawberry oil, and then we did a fresh pickle on blueberries and blackberries. Today I made the berry bomb fish taco. Every berry has been presented a little bit differently, so my raspberry was incorporated into the tortilla. The uh, blackberry was infused with a habanero simple syrup, blueberries were pickled, and the strawberry became a roasted strawberry chipotle salsa. Everybody is, is very, very friendly, but more importantly, being able to network with other chefs from around the country is a great experience because, you know, I know that we'll make a lasting relationship, you know, from now on. Pretty fortunate to be here. The judging criteria is basically based on uh, all the ingredients that we use for every single recipe. We're going to evaluate the chefs, how they're going to actually incorporate it through every single dish and how they're going to taste, the looks, appearance, and basically the final touch. Well, I'm looking for really nice technique, 
great flavors, a well-composed dish, something that you could take home and try it yourself and have fun with it, and it's gotta taste good. <laughs> Coming out of left field with the tea marinated quail, Travis. We won. It was pretty awesome. Uh, I wasn't expecting it, you know. It's, it's, there's some amazing chefs, and really I was just super excited to be here and have fun with everybody. For me, it's all about relationships, and the wonderful thing about Cal Giant is not only is it a great product, but the people have reached out and just been really cool, and it feels like a very small group, like a family kind of thing. We just kind of have become friends, and I've been reaching out just to like do ideas and stuff, so I love the company.